Hello guys, I am Engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Being Engineer. In this video lecture, we will discuss some of the parts of the stairs. As we know that staircase is an important feature of a building. Staircase adds dignity and charm to your home when it is carefully designed and built. Staircase provide means of vertical transportation between the floors. So this is the most important topic related to building construction and uh, some of the parts of the stairs will be discussed and it can also be called as the components or terminologies used in the stairs or you can say the technical terms used in the stairs. So before we start our lecture you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get my latest videos. So let's get started. Stairs. What is stairs? Stair is a structure designed to bridge a large vertical distance by dividing it into smaller vertical distances called steps or it can also be defined as a flight of steps or series of flights for passing from one level to another or a structure designed to enable users to reach step by step from one floor to another floor is termed as stairs. Now what is staircase? A room or space designed for stairs is called as staircase or a space designated for stairs is called as staircase or a flight of steps leading from one floor to another floor. It includes all the components of the stairs including landings, rails, stingers, posts, new well posts and balustrades. These are all the components of the stairs which we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides. So watch the full video so that you can get familiar with the components of the stairs or technical terms used in the stairs. The first one is flight. What is flight? A continuous series of steps is called as flight. As you can see in this picture, this is a continuous series of steps and it is called as flight. For lower heights, one flight is designed depending upon the availability of space. As you can see in this picture, the same staircase is designed in two flights. As you can see, this is the a series of steps which is called as flight 1 and the another series of steps is called as flight 2 and the horizontal distance between these two flights is called as landing which we will discuss in the upcoming slide. This is the example of two flights and this is also the example of two flights in a staircase. The next one is waste. What is waste? An inclined slab provided below the steps of stairs is called as waste. As you can see in this picture, the lower part of the staircase or the slab underneath the steps is called as waste. What is landing? A flat surface provided between two flights is called as landing. This is the flat surface which is provided between two flights is called as landing. As you can see here, this surface is called as landing. And in plan section, you can see this is the landing portion of the staircase. Flights. What are flights? Rectangular or square shaped steps are called as flights. As you can see in this picture, the upper part of the rectangular or square shaped steps are called as flights. Winders. Winders are pie shaped or triangular steps used to make a turn. As you can see here, these steps are designed to make a turn in the staircase and the, these shapes which are in which are rectangular in shape are called as winders. Instead of flat landing, the stairway is continuous with winders being used to create the change in direction. The next one is tread. What is tread? A tread is the horizontal part of the staircase. It serves as the walking surface of the stair that you step on when climbing up or down the stairs. As you can see here, this is the flat surface of the staircase on which one walk for climbing up or down the stairs. As you can see here in the plan section, the plan only shows the tread part of the staircase. Riser. What is riser? A riser is the vertical part of the stair between each tread. This is the vertical distance between each tread and it is called as riser. 
nosing what is nosing nosing is the front of the tread which projects beyond the riser as you can see in this picture this is the projected part of the tread and it is called as nosing going what is going the depth from front to back of a tread is called as going as you can see here the horizontal distance between the nosing of each tread is called as going the next one is pitch or slope what is pitch or slope the angle formed between the nosing line and the floor is called as pitch or slope as you can see here this is the nosing line and this is the uh, ground level of the staircase and the angle formed between the nosing line and ground floor level is called as pitch and it is equal to rise divided by run what is soffit the underside of the stairs or bottom of the stair slab is called as soffit as you can see here this is the under part of the west slab and this is called as soffit the next one is handrail what is handrail it is inclined guardrail at a convenient height for providing assistance to the users as you can see here this is the handrail which is provided at a convenient height to provide assistance to the users what is balusters it is an individual vertical member between handrail and steps to provide support to the handrail this is the baluster which is supposed to provide support to the handrail and it is provided at each step or it can be one or two or more than two at the each step to provide support to the handrail the next one is new well post what is new well post the vertical support for handrail provided at the start and end of the handrail and landing or at turn and its size is comparatively larger than the balusters as you can see here this is the new well post and this is the baluster new well post is comparatively greater in size than the balusters and it is provided at the start of the handrail or it can be provided at the end of the handrail or it can be provided at landing or at turn that is provided in the staircase what is stringer or strings the structural member acts as a beam installed on either side or in the middle of the staircase to support treads and risers as you can see here this is the stringer which is provided in the middle as well or it can be provided on the sides of the staircase to provide support to the treads and risers the last one is headroom what is headroom the vertical height between the tread of one flight and the ceiling of overhead construction is called as headroom as you can see here this is the vertical distance between the tread and the overhead construction and it is called as headroom so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get more informative videos